Hi guys, this video is about Scratch Add-on. So Scratch Add-on is a tool with awesome and helpful features. So in this video I'll be showing you some of the best features of Scratch Add-on. So let's get started. So you can download Scratch Add-on from the Chrome Web Store or from their website scratchaddons.com. So click on install for Chrome. So in the Chrome Web Store, search for Scratch Add-ons. So I already have added it to Chrome. So go for Scratch and click on these extensions and click on Scratch Add-ons. And you get the messaging tab and the game who are playing those multiplayer games and the add-on step so it will open this page which has many features in this video I'll be showing you some of the top best features of scratch add-on So first I'll be showing you some of the features that can be added to your Scratch website. So number one, dark mode. So go to the setting page and search for dark mode. And then you will get these two options in the editor dark mode and click on this. And website dark mode. And make sure you tick that then you will see your scratch website is on dark mode so click on create and you will see the editor in dark mode as well So now you can see your scratch editor is also in dark mode. So our next one is profile search. So search for profile. And you will get this option called search profile. So click on search profile and now go for scratch and now you can search for any of the users. Now you can click on profile and now you can search for scratch users just using the scratch search bar. So our fourth and last feature for the scratch website is from scratch 2.0 to 3.0. So when you go to scratch you can find this top banner so it's on 2.0 so click on scratch add-ons and search your scratch 2.0 to 3.0 so enable this and refresh and now you can see the top banner is on 3.0 it will convert the top banners of scratch from 2.0 to 3.0 So now I'll be showing you some of the best features for a scratch editor. So number one, 60 FPS mode. So you can search for 60 FPS mode and enable this. And you can just change this from zero to just infinite.
and our second feature is the pause button so search for pause button and now go for scratch and reload this So now you can see that it's a scratch pause button. So now you can pause your scratch project by clicking the pause button. So our next feature is the developer tools. So click on enable and now you could just click on this and you could cut the block or copy the block. So copy and create new sprite and then just paste the block. Or you could copy all and paste it. So fifth feature is onion skinning. So search for onion skinning and enable this. And now you could go for costumes. So now you can see this onion skinning button and click on mix costumes and now you can see onion skin. So you can see the next costume or you could even see the previous costume. So our next feature is recording scratch. So our next feature is stage recording. So search for record and enable this. So now you can see this feature called start recording and now you could record your scratch project. So I'll name it as 5 seconds include project sound so you could include sounds from your microphone and then click on start and just record your project uh, when you click stop you can see your video would get downloaded so our next Feeder is displaying our stage on the left side. So click on setting and search for display, and then you will get this display stage on the left side. And now you can see our stage is on the left side. So our next feature is how to set this set thumbnail button. So click on setting and search for thumbnail. And now you can see thumbnail setter and click on this and now click on set thumbnail and you can browse your file and thumbnail uploaded see project page my stuff So now you can see your thumbnail has been uploaded. So now I'll be showing you some of the awesome features that can be done to your scratch blocks. So number one, customizing block colors. So settings and search for customize 
block color so enable this and now you could just customize your block color So as you can see you just could customize your block color So if you don't want you can click on reset So our next feature is how to add badges like this onto our scratch blocks. So click on settings and search for block. Then you will find a block palette category icon. So enable this and now you get some really cool icons to your scratch blocks. Our next feature is scratch cat blocks. So these are scratch blocks with cool animation. You will only see for April Fool's Day. But with scratch add-ons, you could get these blocks forever. So go for settings and click here: up arrow twice, down arrow twice, left arrow one time, right arrow one time left arrow one time, right arrow one time and click on letter B and A on your keyboard and then you will find like this it says cat blocks so make sure you enable this and then you can use this scratch cat blocks forever so next feature is auto hide block palette so search for auto hide block palette and then you will get the settings and it is the file area poor and default now click on refresh next feature is saving blocks as an image file so for that search for save and then you find the save blocks as image and click on this enable this So now you can see when you right click you could export your blocks as an SVG or PNG. So our next feature is advanced block switching. So click on settings and search for block switching. And now you can see this block switching and enable this and now grab the if by right clicking then you could just switch your blocks so now you can see you could switch your blocks So if you like this video make sure to give it a like and if you need to get more updates from our channel make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon and if you find this video interesting make sure to share your video with your friends. So see you with another awesome scratch tutorial.